Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it's Monday so it's meal prep day and I have three really good recipes for you. We have breakfast, lunch, and cookies. Yes, we are making cookies. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do a meal prep every single Monday and I upload five videos a week. Check out the description box down below for my recipe website where you will find all of today's recipes, nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I highly recommend this. You need to know what you should be eating every day to reach your goals. So definitely take advantage of that. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to all my favorite things. And of course, come on over, join us on Facebook is all down in that description box. So let's jump in to meal prep because we have three amazing recipes. breakfast this week, I am making an everything bagel breakfast casserole. I'm really excited for this. I love everything bagels. This has cheese and eggs and bacon and fresh chives. I am super, super stoked. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need eight eggs, salt and pepper. As always, I'll link my salt and pepper shakers down below for you. Super affordable, got them on Amazon. I get a lot of questions when I share them, so they will be linked down in the description box. You'll need some whole milk. You could substitute low fat or fat free milk. One third less fat cream cheese. Some bagel thins, I just grabbed the Thomas ones. You'll need some reduced fat shredded cheese, turkey bacon, and fresh or dried chives. To assemble our casserole, we're going to spray a nine by 13 baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to put half of our little chopped up bagel pieces on the bottom of the baking dish. I am kind of separating them out. That way they go a little bit further. We're going to sprinkle about half of our cooked chopped up turkey bacon on top. We need two cups of light shredded cheese, which is this entire bag. So we are going to put about a cup on top of the bagels and the bacon, and then about half of the cream cheese. We have six ounces of cream cheese total. So I'm going to put about three ounces or half of it on top. I'm just kind of dispersing it evenly over the top. And then we're going to repeat with the rest of the bagels, the bacon, the cheese, and the cream cheese. large bowl we're going to crack eight eggs we're going to add one and three quarter cup of whole milk and salt and pepper whisk it together until completely mixed and then we're going to take the egg mixture and pour it right on top of the bagels, cheese, cream cheese, and bacon. We're going to cover it with some saran wrap and throw it in the fridge for about three to four hours. You could even make this the night before and throw it in the fridge so that it has a chance to basically soak up all of the goodness before it goes into the oven. Three hours later. The everything but the bagel breakfast casserole is going into a 350 degree oven until it is cooked completely. We don't want any jiggly. We want all the eggs and everything to cook through. I forgot to mention you are going to want to cover it with foil for the first 40 minutes and then the last 15 minutes will remove the foil. 
mid-meal prep break. I wanted to share with you guys some really exciting news and I have officially hit 40,000 subscribers here on YouTube. That was a huge milestone for me. I've been stuck in the 30 to 40,000 subscriber range for quite a while and my channel has just really grown over the last few months and that huge milestone has been hit. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for not only watching my videos but subscribing to my channel, turning on the bell, sharing my channel with others, being part of my Facebook group, my Instagram. It really means a lot to me that you support me here on YouTube. I love filming videos, sharing my journey, sharing tips, tricks, recipes. So it's really nice to be appreciated by hitting that 40,000 subscriber mark. And in honor of that, I did post here on my community tab here on YouTube, as well as over in my Facebook group. Make sure you join my Facebook group. That's how you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. And I do special giveaways and things for my Facebook group as well. So it's just a huge win to be part of that community. But I posted here on YouTube, and in my Facebook group that I am giving away 10 $40 Amazon gift cards in appreciation for hitting that 40,000 subscriber mark. So there's just a few things that you have to do to enter. What you'll need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be checking to make sure you're subscribed. Thumbs up today's video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what are your favorite videos that I put out here on YouTube. Leave that down in the comments. And if you would like an extra entry, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram handle here on the screen for you. Super easy to enter. I will be using a random comment picker to select my 10 winners. So make sure you're subscribed, you thumbs up today's video, you comment down below and follow me on Instagram for a second entry. So thank you again so much for your support and let's get back into meal prep. I just pulled out the breakfast casserole. This looks absolutely incredible. Look at how yummy that looks. I cannot wait for this all week. I will probably just pair it with some fruit and it'll be a really healthy breakfast with carbs, fiber, protein, fats. I will go ahead and put serving sizes and points and calories here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I'm making kind of an adult lunchable, but this is a BLTA lettuce wrapped meal prep. So basically I'm making a BLTA without the bread. You could always incorporate bread or tortilla, but I'm going to use a lettuce wrap. I really enjoy that actually for that added crunch. I'm going to share with you a few different ways to put together your little adult lunchable. So let me show you what's in lunch. So for the BLTA portion, you're going to need a lettuce wrap. Again, you could use a tortilla or some bread. You'll also need some avocado, tomato, and bacon. Whatever condiment you want to use, you could do mayo. I have the chosen foods, avocado mayo. Mayo, you could also use light mayonnaise. I just happen to be out. You can use a wedge of laughing cow cheese. You could really pick whatever condiment you want to spread in your lettuce wrap on your bread or in your tortilla. For a little side in the Lunchable, I'm going to hard boil some eggs. I'm going to add some fresh fruit, some raspberries, and then I always like to incorporate a nut for healthy fat and extra protein. These gourmet almonds from Blue Diamond, the garlic, herb, and olive oil ones, so delicious. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get some hard boiled eggs going in my Instant Pot. This is actually my favorite way to hard boil eggs. It's so easy. So I'm going to add a little trivet or a rack in my Instant Pot. That way my, my eggs sit up off of the bottom. I'm going to add about a cup of water and then however many eggs that you want to boil. So for my lunch bowl, I'm going to need four eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and do eight total. That way I have a few extra for snacks. Pop your lid on, set it to pressure cook for five minutes. So while the eggs are hard boiling in the Instant Pot, I pulled out four of my little lunch meal prep containers. I have these linked in my Amazon store. I will link these two compartment ones down below for you. They also come with lids, which makes it really convenient. So my plan is, is to assemble the BLTA wrap in the large side. We'll put some raspberries and some nuts in a little container on the small side, and that will be our adult Lunchable. So first we're going to need some lettuce for the lettuce leaf. So I'm just going to take a big leaf of lettuce and just put that in the large side of the meal prep container. And each of our little BLTAs has two slices of turkey bacon. This is that same Columbus turkey bacon that I used in breakfast meal prep. I just ended up cooking up another pack. I am going to go ahead and slice a couple slices really thin of Roma tomato and go ahead and put those in with the lettuce and the bacon. 
Lastly would be our avocado, but I don't want to actually cut my avocado until I'm ready to eat, only because I don't want it to brown. So what I'll do each day is right before I eat my lunch, I'll go ahead and slice and weigh out some avocado. I always like to include fruit with my lunch, so I'm going to fill the small compartment about halfway with some fresh raspberries. For the condiment of the BLTA, I probably should have shared that before the raspberries, you could again either use regular mayonnaise, light may mayo, but for me, I think I'm just going to add a wedge of laughing cow because I can spread that nicely over that big leaf of lettuce, add the bacon, the tomato, and the avocado. Also from Amazon, I picked up these little two ounce containers with lids. These were super affordable and they have come in really, really handy. So again, they're clear containers with lids. Lids. They're great for condiments. They're great for on the road. If you want to actually weigh out a serving of nuts or chocolate chips or really anything and take it with you, they're super convenient with the lid. So what I'm going to do is weigh out half of a serving of our nuts. It is 24 nuts or 28 grams per serving. So we're going to do 14 grams of nuts. Fourteen grams. Pop the lid on that. That's going to go right alongside the raspberry. So what I'll do is actually take my little container of almonds out of here before I put it in the fridge. Otherwise they become kind of soft. But when I'm packing my lunch or getting ready to eat my lunch, I'll just make sure I grab a pre-portioned out so that makes it really easy pack of almonds. And then lastly, we'll add a hard boiled egg once they come out of the instant pot. But while we're waiting, let's assemble the rest, the other three meal preps. Once your Instant Pot five minutes goes off, we're going to let it naturally release for five minutes. Then once it has released for five minutes, we're going to go ahead and flip our little switch release the rest of the pressure, and then all the eggs go into an ice bath for an additional five minutes. They turn out perfect every time, super, super easy to peel. I'm actually not going to peel my egg. I'm going to put it into my little meal prep container unpeeled and I'll peel it right before I eat it. Generally, if I have hard boiled eggs on hand for snacks, I will go ahead and just pre-peel them and have them peeled and ready to go in the fridge. But for lunch, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the peel just because it's going to be sitting right next to the raspberries. And here is my lunch for the week. This looks so good. Look at all those pretty colors packed with protein, low carb, healthy fats. It's going to be such a good lunch. Now, of course, your points are going to vary depending on number one, if you have avocado for zero points, what bacon you use, the eggs are zero points for you. There's going to be a lot of factors. So what I'll do is go ahead and put the points on the screen for me for exactly how I prepared mine with the exact ingredients and amounts for my lunch meal prep. Just make sure you enter yours into your app so you can see what your points and calories are. But let me just tell you, I am pretty excited for this all week. I can't wait for this week's dessert. I'm actually making cookies and better yet, best yet, I am making cowboy cookies. These are my all time favorite. They are packed with chocolate and nuts and oatmeal. They're so incredibly delicious. So we're making them WW friendly, calorie friendly. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need all purpose flour, rolled oats, brown sugar alternative. As always, I'm using the Lakanto golden. You guys know Lakanto is my favorite sugar substitute. For me, it tastes the closest to regular sugar. No weird cooling effect or anything. I love it. So I'll link Lakanto down below for you with 15% off. I also have some Lily's chocolate chips, and this is the Lakanto granulated sweetener for the sugar. Light butter, vanilla extract, one egg, unsweetened coconut flakes, pecans, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. You're also going to need some cinnamon. So I decided to go ahead and half the recipe only because the full recipe makes 36 cookies and I don't need 36 cookies. I will go ahead and put the full recipe on my website. If you wanna copy me and do half the recipe for your household, all you'll do is literally just divide everything on the website recipe in half. So for me, I need one cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Salt. 
and some cinnamon. And then we're going to mix that really good. In a smaller bowl, we're going to add one half of a cup of light butter and then beat that on low until creamy. Then we're going to add one quarter cup of Lakanto granulated and one quarter cup of packed Lakanto golden and mix that again until incorporated. We're now going to add half of the egg, the vanilla, and then mix it again. And then we're going to add the flour mixture and stir just until combined. In that same large bowl that we had the dry ingredients, we're going to add half of a cup of chopped pecans, 300 Lily's chocolate chips, half of a cup of unsweetened coconut flakes, and one cup of rolled oats, and then mix that all together and add that to your wet mixture. Stir it in and we are ready to get our cookies in the oven. My goal is 18 cookies total, so I'm going to take my small cookie scoop and scoop out as many cookies as I can get. We'll see kind of what the points are based on that onto an ungreased cookie sheet. And then I'm just going to push them down just a little bit with my hand just to help them form a cookie shape. So far I have 12 cookies and I have quite a bit of dough left. So you could actually scoop out bigger cookies if you wanted. I'm going to stick with this size and then I'll just see how many I end up getting. And really the more cookies that I get out of the recipe, the lower the points and calories will be. They are going into a 350 degree oven for about nine to 11 minutes. So I ended up with 23 cookies total. So that is what my points will be based off of. All you'll have to do is change the serving size in the recipe on my website if you have more or less cookies. I just pulled the cookies out. Oh my gosh, these look so incredibly delicious. I'm going to let them cool and then put them in a storage container to keep them for the week. In my opinion, this is the perfect size cookie and it's going to be less points and calories than if I would have made them bigger. They are super, super soft. They smell incredible. So let me get them packaged up and I'll be back to share points and calories. And here are the cookies again. These look really good. I did taste a little bit of one really good they taste just like a bakery cookie they are way 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 less points in calories so i'll go ahead and put for 23 cookies which is what i made from my dough the points the calories here on the screen but nobody i mean nobody's complaining about cookies all week thank you for joining me for another weekly ww meal prep i hope you are as excited about these recipes as i am i can't wait for breakfast lunch and cookies all week you will find all of today's recipes as well as all of the other recipes i've shared here on my channel on on my website, which is linked down in that description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. We would definitely love to have you come on over and join that community as well. Don't forget to make sure you're subscribed. You like today's video and comment down below to be entered into my 40,000 subscriber giveaway, where again, I'm giving away 10 $40 Amazon gift cards. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in Wednesdays, What I Eat in a Day. Bye.